Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question on the slide. Six pipes are required to fill a tank in one hour 20 minutes. How long will it take if only five pipes of the same type are used? Firstly, we understand that lesser the number of pipes, more will be the time required by it to fill the tank. So this is a case of inverse proportion and we shall use the property of inverse proportion only. Let us denote number of pipes by x and time taken to fill the tank by y minutes and try and construct a table between the number of pipes and the time taken in terms of minutes. Then we are already given that 6 pipes can fill the tank in 1 hour 20 minutes. 1 hour 20 minutes is same as 60 plus 20 minutes that is equal to 80 minutes. Hence we are given that 6 pipes will take 80 minutes and we are asked that how much time is required if 5 pipes are used. Let us denote the unknown quantity by y2. We know that x and y are inversely proportional. So the property says that x1 into y1 should be equal to x2 into y2 and we take 6 into 80 is equal to 5 into y2. Actually we are using x1 y1 equal to x2 y2 which is the property of inverse proportion. On solving further we get as y2 and hence y2 comes out to be 96. That means 96 minutes are required to fill the tank if 5 pipes are used. Let us read the question on the slide. There are 100 students in a hostel. Food provision for them is for 20 days. How long will these provisions last if 25 more students join the group? So first thing that we notice is that more the number of students, then sooner will the provision finish off. Therefore, this is a case of inverse proportion. Let us denote number of students by x and number of days that provision lasts by y and try and construct a table between number of students and number of days the provision can last. We are already given that when number of students is 100, it can last for 20 days. But if 24, 25 more students join, that means student will be 125, then we have to find that for how many days it will last. Let us denote it by y2. Now let us use the property of inverse proportion that x1 into y1 should be equal to x2 into y2. We get 100 into 20 is equal to 125 into y2 using the property x1 into y1 should be equal to x2 into y2 and this implies 100 into 20 
whole divide by 125 will give us y2 on solving we will get y2 is equal to 16 that means the provision will last for 16 days if 25 more students join the hostel let us read the question on the slide if 15 workers can build a wall in 48 hours how many workers will be required to do the same work in 30 hours it is very obvious that more the number of workers less time will be required to complete the same work that means that number of workers and the hours required are inversely proportional quantities let us denote number of hours by x and number of workers by y and try and construct a table between x and y then we have that when number of hours were 48 workers were 15 and if number of hours are 30 then we have to calculate the value of y let us denote it by y2 then using the property of inverse proportion x1 y1 should be equal to x2 y2 that means 48 into 15 is equal to 30 into y2 which will give 48 into 15 by 30 is equal to y2 and on solving we get y2 is equal to 24 that means to finish the work in 30 hours we will require 24 workers